sort of choosing. Uh, we are supposed to be 29 professors in the university. There are quite a few vacancies. The university has uh, reprised the vacant positions uh, last week, and uh, hopefully they will be filled up soon. Uh, also, the government of India recently, in collaboration with the Ministry of uh, Human Resource Development, uh, the, a program called EPG Patshala was granted to our department. The purpose of this uh, program basically is to uh, standardize textbooks and uh, syllabus syllabi for master's degree in Buddhist studies in India. And also to collaborate uh, with the uh, foreign universities so students could do one or two courses online uh, uh, to the uh, website that is going to be launched by government of India and credits can be transferred. Already Delhi University has uh, begun uh, transferring credits of students from all over the world. For example, our students can go for two courses to one of the universities anywhere in the world or their students can come to Delhi University and we transfer the credits. And similarly, as I said, uh, our department is the only department in the country that has been recognized as a center for advanced studies. Delhi University has two particular uh, hostels only for foreign students, one for women called uh, ISHW and one for men called ISH men. And apart from these two hostels uh, that are meant for only foreign students, we also have uh, more than 20 postgraduate hostels in the university campus and around the campus, where also up to about 10% of the students in the field of foreign students. And uh, also, very interestingly, uh, major colonies around the university campus have come into existence where foreign students uh, uh, are offered uh, paying PG accommodation. Uh, regarding the qualification of the teachers of this department, uh, uh, I, I think our department has some of the most qualified professors in India. Uh, four of the professors have received certificate of honor from the uh, president of India, and also uh, two professors received uh, uh, honorary dealings in the last uh, few years. And also uh, publications. Uh, uh, my department has uh, professors who have published in, with the A category publishers. For example, uh, I myself have taught about 10 of my books published with A class uh, publishers. In the last five years, two of these were published one on Decline of the Buddhism by the Decline of Indian Buddhism by Moti Narasidas and uh, uh, the Encyclopedia of Buddhism and Jainism published by Springers uh, in uh, 2017. Diversity is another very interesting uh, aspect of our department. We have virtually uh, students virtually from every state of India studying in uh, our department. And uh, we have had uh, students from as many as 37 different countries who came and studied at Delhi University. And uh, also visiting professors of uh, different uh, kinds, including His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who was a uh, uh, adjunct professor in our department uh, for two years, from 2009 to the three best practices of our department are our global outreach, our regular weekly seminars where we discuss all kinds of issues, and field work. We uh, get sufficient funds from the UGC and the HRD ministry uh, to take our students from field work into different parts of India, sometimes in the different countries as well. And also the outcome of various courses uh, is that we particularly emphasize skill enhancement, socially engaged in this work and popularization of interdisciplinary courses. Thousands of students actually apply in our department from other departments to study Buddhism. Uh, so I'm running short of time, so I would just uh, end by saying that uh, in the future also we uh, are going to emphasize and focus on developing these areas that are the Thank you so much.